After all that, I honestly don't remember how he got back. It took all I had to accept the reality that Kaito was gone. And not just Kaito, Kokichi too. Someone we all trusted, and someone none of us had trusted. We lost, bo we lost them both. But it wasn't all for nothing. Because we're drawing ever closer to discovering the true mastermind. Junko. The killing game will never end. Never, ever. As long as I'm around, it'll never end. I'll repeat over and over and over. Why would I let something this fun ever end? I want to have more fun. As long as it's fun, we have to keep doing it. It's just simple supply and demand. <laughs> Such despair. I see a Junko as well. Later that night. Maybe Monica. I mean, fair. I found myself standing in that one spot in the courtyard. What if it is like Monica grown up? That'd be weird. A place where Kaito and I would train together. My heart felt crushed. All the loss and guilt and helplessness sinking in my chest. But still, I... I stood here. That's a grown Mon... That's a grown Monica, if that's the case. Yeah. With the hair dye. I mean, we didn't really get to see... Well... What are you doing? Ah, oh. uh, Maki. Hey. So you came too. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Maki, I'm sorry. What? For what? Uh, um... I was the one who drove Kaito into a corner. Just like Kaede, I... end up betraying everyone important to me. It's all my fault. Well... Are you feeling lonely? Huh? Huh? Hey. Are you lonely? Now that Kaito is gone? Uh, okay. Yeah. Lonely. With the rim light... With the rim light that was on the side so the hair looked to be pink, or at least not green. I mean, she could have dyed it to the... I... I feel so lonely and so sad. Like, I don't know what to do. The only reason I'm still alive right now is because of Kaito. If he hadn't... If he hadn't have been my friend, I would be... That's right. Me too. I can't remember the last time I ever cried that hard. I wonder how long it's been. Okay. But I won't cry anymore. I'm sad, but... I'm grateful to Kaito. Huh? Grateful? Okay. Yeah. I want to tell him that rather than being sad or lonely. I'm grateful to him. Exchange the hair color. Yeah. That's why I won't cry anymore. I'm not going to wallow in pity. I just, I want to show him how much I appreciate all the things he did. You're right. Yeah. yeah I guess it's the same for me. I want to show my appreciation too. I'm sure that our friends who've passed on don't want us to see don't want to see us miserable. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, so you guys were here after all. Yeah. Just like I thought. Yes. I knew you guys would be here because I cast a spell to find you. Oh. Tsumugi, Himiko. Um. Um, if you don't mind, can we join you in your training? Huh? Huh? I'll train all from the ground up so we can end this killing game together. Huh? We're gonna end this together? Yeah. Himiko and I promised Kaito. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do what we promised and work together to end this killing game. All right. We can't afford to lose to despair. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Monokuma said that Monokuma said that there's no hope anywhere, but he's wrong. There is hope. My friends are my hope.
Kaito said it best. I'm not alone. That's right. I have friends. Not just my friends here, but also friends who have died. They all gave us their hope, too. That's a view there, Shuichi. Shut up, Jushad. I didn't want to say anything. That's why I'm going to live. I want to live for everyone who died. Wait, was anything with Monica and Dengarama too? M Monica was not brought in until Ultra Despair Girls. Despair cannot defeat me. I will hold on and survive no matter what. Thank you, Kaito. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. I mean, if Monica really wanted to become Junko, it wouldn't surprise me if she did either of those things. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Cause, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey! No fair, Kaito! Hey! Oh, by the way... Uh... What happened to Kibo? Do you know where he went? Huh? Seeing that scene really hit me hard. Yeah. Kibo... Uh... I don't know. <laughs> yeah? Is that guy off? Is that guy off doing? What is that guy off doing? <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't think a robot really needs to do any training. But I've been gone for a bit and dumb. Damn, that's a memory. Yeah. But the rest of us are here. I wish. I kind of wish he'd come too. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet. This silence is quite refreshing. Kibo? I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. Yeah, I meant to I meant to question what this inner voice you keep talking about is. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. Because that thing was an antenna. The hair thing was an antenna. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists. I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. Kibo just losses Jimmy Cricket. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. It's fully functioning independent now. Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, I agree, Composer. And I will destroy it. Whoa, 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 Kibo, what are you doing? Kibo. I have chills. I have chills. There's literally chills. He said, fuck this shit, I'm done. Hey, we got a present.